Hey everybody, um, so it seems that last bit of footage seemed to cut out a good chunk of what I was actually doing, sadly. So, uh, what had happened was, we went through a pathway, and I'll show it again at some point, I'm sure it'll come up again. But, um, we fought a bunch of, uh, in-training Digimon, and we were brought to a little convenient area and then we were let here which is the digilab and basically this is like the main area hub that you'll be in for a good half of the game from my understanding but anyways uh we ended up getting a new digimon partner bukamon so now it just won't be terriermon on the field and yeah hopefully everything goes all right okay oh and this is a uh, mire mikagura she's basically like the hub leader of this place um she seems like a nice person, a little odd, but seems nice anyway. Uh, anyways, let's see. Do you understand the Digilab? Use it carefully to further your interactions with Digimon. Let me see if you're the person I thought you might be. Finally, one last thing, a small token for you. What the- You got a hacking skill. Hacking skills shine in combination with Digimon use but are dangerous if used for unscrupulous hacking purposes. How you use your skills is up to you. Never forget that. You can deepen your special ties with the Digimon. Okay. Like that, like live with them, share their joys and sadness, and grow together. By deepening your bond with Digimon, they'll surely offer you their aid. It is a very important ability. It will even change your life. Really? Connection jump. That's what you that's what you call your curious skill. I know nothing of this power. It's like a hacking skill, but well different. But I'm certain it's a skill that will serve you in unique ways. I'll see you later. Take care. Alright, whatever. Hacking skill. When on the field, press the square button to open the hacking skill menu. Here you can use the various abilities of your Digimon. To use a skill, the Digimon in the party must meet the necessary conditions. You can check the conditions of a skill from the player menu of your Digivice. You were heading to Kulon, I suspect. Just this once, I'll let you use the special exit. Next time, go to the access point, if you please. Special- Whoa! Access points. Communication devices that use the flow of the digital web. They are reference points for the digital network that connects to locations everywhere. The half cyber protagonist can use connection connect jump to move from here to Eden or the Digilab. Real world can access Eden or the Digilab. Eden can only access the Digilab. Okay. Wait, this is where I was before. Releases level one firewall. Okay. We got anyone to fight? No, okay. Uh, oh. This firewall. Hacking skill. Wall crack. You can eliminate secure firewalls that block your way and continue your progress. This skill has different levels depending on the resilience of the firewall. And you won't be able to take down a firewall if your wall crack skill isn't high enough. Okay, uh... Cool. That was pretty easy. Oh, it's me. Oof, I finally got through to you. I lost your trace info and had to search again. Where did you wander off to this time? And now I'm going to explain the Digilab thing. I see. So you ran into Mirai Mikagura. Yeah, you could say we're acquainted. Regardless, for there to have been a natural progression where you would meet her. You seem to have the craziest luck. Let's assume you carried out your original objective. We'll start by... What? You've already broken through the firewall? Well done, you saved me some time. <laughs> Alright, on to our next move. I scanned the area around the entrance to Kulon and marked key junk data sites. Junk data will serve as your body parts. You need to go find and retrieve some. 
it's something of a stopgap measure, and it may not be a perfect solution, but I'm sure your skills are up to the task. This is a key to st step to returning your body to normal, so buck up and get to work. It's okay, searching for body parts isn't as hard as defeating 48 demons now, is it? Think of it as an emergency measure. I look forward to meeting you in your normal body. Digilon. This is a tool for communicating with people who aren't in the same place. You will receive messages from your friends and Digimon in your Digifarms. If a notica notification appears in the bottom right of your screen, click touchpad button or check your received messages from the Digiline menu or of your Digivice. You should also be able to reply to you should also reply to your messages when you receive one that needs a reply. Okay. The Digimon on farms will be ecstatic if you respond to their Digiline messages. Did I surprise you? But that's what Digiline is all about, you know? Let's try using some simple phrases you learn from friends and clients. Got it. Okay. Anyways, uh... No enemies yet. Oh, that must be one of the, the pieces. Oh, a couple of Koromon. Now we can get Koromon. Register to field guide. Scan data of new Digimon will be collected, and the Digimon will be registered to the field guide of your Digivice. At the Digilab, you can digiconvert and browse delete detailed data by making friends with the Digimon doing Digivolution and the Digivolution. Yeah, I already know that stuff. Terry a tornado! Yeah! Too easy! Jeez, Pokemon. Well, at least Coromon's now ours. Got Avatar part. Okay. Just looking around for any more enemies, if there are any. Okay, pretty easy so far. Oh, another one, sweet. And another enemy. Whoa, rookie levels. Now this is gonna get interesting. Digimon all have types and attributes, each with their own affinity. A Digimon's type is shown in a mark in the upper left part of the stats, and its attribute is displayed by color. During target selection, good affinity is shown with a red target ring, and bad affinity with a blue target ring. Consider affinities when choosing who to attack. <clears throat> Oof, excuse me. There are four attributes, virus, vaccine, data, and free. Okay. Okay, so vaccines are good against virus, virus are good against data, and data are good against vaccine, and vice versa for bad. Attacks from a type with good affinity inflict double damage, while attacks from a type with bad affinity only inflict half damage. Attacks with good attributes inflict 1.5 times normal damage. Attacks using skills reflect the attribute of said skill. Okay. Well. Okay, so we got one good, one bad, and one neutral. Yeah, baby! I'm a bringing the pain! Yeah! Wow, that got rid of two of them. Wait, what's your skill? Bubbles. Magic attack. 30 di water damage to one foe. 90% accuracy. I'm sure you got this. Yeah! We did it, Pokemon! Good job, buddy! Sand guard. Eh, you're doing good, my friend. Got another avatar part. Okay. Uh, just because I'm curious about something. Yeah, sand guard. Earth attribute damage minus 10%. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Well, Terriermon's gonna take it, I mean. 
Okay, uh... Let's go. To the next section. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, there's another firewall. I knew there would be another one here. Another avatar part. Venom trap? Jeez. Why the hell are you so fast? Types of abnormal statuses. Allies and enemies can suffer from abnormal statuses in battle. Abnormal statuses have unique effects, such as draining HP every turn or altering stats. All abnormal statuses are undone at, at, at the end of battle. Okay, so we got confused, paralyzed, sleep, stun, no self-healing, poisoned, dot, and bug reverses type affinity. Okay. Oh, and dot, that's not good. Uh, okay... Okay, cool. Here we go. You just can't touch me. I'm up at the floor with these people. Or these Digimon, I should say. What's up, Kyoka? Such a quick reply, I'm impressed. Guess you get a reply to... Guess you get a reply to a reply sometimes. Okay. Wait, is there anything back here? Well, anyways, uh, another Terrier Tornado. Yeah, baby! Jeez, this game is looking flipping phenomenally good. Ooh, sweet! Jeez, now we got a, a Koromon and a Pabumon. Well, we're gonna get them anyway, once I return. Okay, I just need to make sure that there wasn't anything over here. I'm gonna assume that Firewall is the next place we need to go to. And this is already looking fantastic. I'm loving all of this. Terrier Tornado! Good job, Terriermon. And I'm sorry Terriermon's the only one doing the real fighting right now, but it's the only one that actually has good moves in order to fight with. At any rate, uh, anything over here? No. Okay. But there is this guy. You aren't worthy of going any further yet. Once you've proven your strength and pride as a hacker, the path will open on its own. Well, fine, I guess I do have to go the other way then. I am not liking that guy standing there. At any rate... Bring on Digimon! That's a Sunomon! Awesome! Yes! Woo! Keep leveling up, Pokemon. Now, just to clarify something for when we actually get more people on the team, um, I'm going to be using the three strongest in the attack stat that I have at the time. So, if there's a Digimon that you guys really want me to use, I'm sorry, but I'm playing my way. First attack. Oh, they get the first attack. Or do I? I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, that was pretty easy. Ooh, a Sunomon medal, too. I should probably look and see if I have anything new. Okay, there we go. And we've got a new item over here. A SP capsule. Awesome. Got export. What's an export do? Instantly returns party to the dungeon entrance. No, we are not doing that. Last two enemies? Okay. Cross combos and cam. A cross combo can occur when two or more allies are lined up on the timeline. 
Cross combos power up attacks and skill effects with the help of allied Digimon. Cross combos and cam. Cross combo effects are split into the following four types. Chain attack, which increases the number of hits. Damage up, which increases damage. Heal up, which increases the amount of recovery. And skill up, which increases the amount of change. Cross combos and cam. Cross combos occurrence rates are displayed on the timeline. The bigger the gauge number, the higher the rate. The gauge fills as you attack, and damage with higher camaraderie will have a higher occurrence rate. So basically, whoever is the bigger allies will work. Yeah! That did it. Not bad. Well, we got all four avatar parts. Ah, back to normal! Awesome! Hmm, you at least look normal again. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a big step. The objective has been met. Come back to the agency. What? What's that? You don't know how to get back? Hmm, try logging out like you always do. Since you went in through an agency terminal, my guess is that you should come out through one. But to be honest, in your case, I don't know what'll happen until we try. In the worst case, if your data gets scattered throughout the network, I'll savage as much as I can. <laughs> I'm joking. Sort of. Jeez, you are so comforting, lady. Alright, I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, hit the like button, comment in the comment section with all your tips, tricks, and all that shite. Subscribe if you're new, favorite of the video if you want. Who favorites videos these days, anyway? Uh... After all this, we're finally getting there, guys. This is going to be one of the best Digimon games I've ever played. I can feel it in my bones. Don't ask me how I know. I just do. And as always, Rock and Roll, do the Vixens! The streets are lined with little